right so if you have a laptop that has only one USB-C port onto it I have the Asus ROG Flow Z13 this is a gaming laptop then it's pretty obvious that you will need some type of adapter or hub or dock to extend the capabilities of this that one single port is used to charge the laptop to connect it to external monitors to add peripherals and you're going to need something else just to you know make sure you have all of those other devices connected whilst having the ability to charge your laptop now in this video i'm going to specifically be talking about the asus rog flow z13 this model does have only just one usb-c port to do all of those things there is another version of this model that, that has about maybe two or three thunderbolt ports and you can also buy the Asus ROG XG Mobile, which is an external GPU dock. That is around an additional £1,000, which is super expensive. And if you don't need to extend your capabilities to get higher graphics, like extend it to get more powerful NVIDIA GeForce capabilities for your gaming, or if you don't need faster RAM or memory usage on your laptop, then you probably don't need to spend that much money and you just need one simple docking station. This is where I've tried to use these USB-C adapters to extend the capabilities to connect to external monitors. So this one you can see it has only one HDMI port, a USB port and a power input and just a few USB-A ports. I've tried this with this laptop and connecting it to HDMI it didn't work with setting up with my TV even though this does also allow power in. When I connected my official laptop charger into this little hub and I had two or three of these and I've tried them all to be honest. There was an error that came up on the screen saying that I'm not using my original power cable and I need to connect it directly. And I didn't want to damage the laptop in any way so I stopped using these because this alone was not powerful enough to use my laptop with an external monitor especially when it comes to playing games. So I had to find another alternative solution and I wanted to showcase that in today's video. That's where this comes in. This is the Mini Sopuru. 13 in one mains powered docking station and it is connected via USB-C and I'm going to connect it with this and then set up my laptop with the appropriate connections using HDMI to that TV just over there and showcase you know how this works perfectly the first time it's literally plug and play and you know all of the capabilities that this comes with and I'm also going to be testing the lag and the latency to see you know how fast this actually works by having something more powerful like this. If you do want to buy a simple one, this is just useful for adding like your mouse, your keyboard, a webcam, and maybe just connecting an ethernet to get faster internet onto your laptop and things like that. But for fast gaming and connecting it to large monitors, especially TVs, then you're going to need something that's mains powered and is a little bit more durable and it will cost a little bit more. This in terms of pricing is around 170 pounds at the time of publishing this video. They do run some discount codes from time to time, but it retails around the 200 pound mark, but I always recommend hit the link in the description if you want to check this out and check the latest pricing information. There's only a few of these types of powerful docking stations on Amazon that I found. There's an endless amount of standard USB-C adapters, which I think wouldn't work in this situation, but let's go ahead and take a look at this and what it can do. And I'll set this up with my TV. I'll load up a game and showcase how this really works. So let's just take a look at the design and the ports on this. So you've got two USB 3.2 generation one ports there. And you also have two USB 2.0 generation one ports right there. USB 3.2, USB-C there, headphone port. Then on the back, you have an HDMI and a display port there. And another HDMI and display port there. Ethernet port. This is where you will connect the USB-C cable that comes in the box directly to your laptop. This is where I will put my USB-C charger of my laptop to directly power through and charge up my laptop. And this is the DC adapter that comes in the box that you will power this device itself. So this is very durable. It's the perfect solution to connect your laptop to multiple different devices. I'm going to be setting this up at home when I am working from home, connecting it to one or two monitors, but also connecting my speakers to it and also connecting my webcam, my mouse and my wireless charger. And having everything clean and tidy is also quite important with having wires going in all different directions, especially when it comes to using little hubs like this where you've got wires coming out from all sides and it's just hanging off of your laptop. This will keep it very clean. But in this video, the solution that I was looking for was to play some games with my Asus ROG Flow Z13 on a TV to make it a little bit larger because this is quite small, 13 inch screen. And I really wanted to see if that would work really great. So let's go ahead and set this up, play some games and let's see how it performs. Okay, so everything is connected. Let's take a look at the docking station. 
You can see all of the cables are connected from behind, keeping everything clean. So the one there on the left is the DC adapter for the docking station. This is the power adapter for my laptop. This is the USB-C cable that goes directly into the USB-C port on my laptop. I've connected an ethernet cable and a HDMI cable directly to the TV. So I'm just updating some game drivers and you can see everything is connected to my TV. And it was literally plug and play, no drivers needed, and it works completely out of the box. So now I'm gonna load up Steam, play a game, and hopefully showcase if this works without any lag, any latency, and without any issues. So I'm really excited to use this because I was looking for a way to connect this to my TV and this docking station is a really great solution to that. Okay, so now everything is set up. I've loaded Forza Horizon 5 on my laptop via Steam and are now ready to play some gameplay. You can see my laptop is just there and the TV to keep an eye on to see the lag differences. But I've played this, I'm using that docking station right there and it's pretty much instantaneous, there's no lag and it's literally like for like. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I've got my Xbox controller already connected to my laptop. And the audio is also coming directly from the TV. So I didn't need to change that when connecting via HDMI and setting the output to the TV itself. Now everything looks great. This is 4K, 60 Hertz. And you can see with the laptop and with the TV, the game is smooth. And I'm pretty happy with the performance, to be honest. And everything looks very clean. And this is something that I've been looking for for quite a while. Now I'm just going off-road, trying to create some fast-paced effects to see how this handles it. Not having any issues so far. Now one thing this actually makes it seem like is now I have my laptop connected to the TV, it feels like the laptop itself is its own gaming console. So that's what I was looking for when I was trying to find a docking station or some type of hub that is powerful enough to drive the graphics and the performance of gaming from my laptop directly to the TV. And this docking station does exactly that. So you can see it looks really great and it maintains the aspect ratio and the resolution. It's working at 4K 60 Hertz. And what else is there to say? Apart from that, this is a great purchase if you really want to take your laptop and extend it to multiple different capabilities. So thanks for watching guys, hopefully that was useful. One thing to also mention, you don't necessarily need to connect this to a Windows laptop, this will work absolutely fine with MacBooks. If you do have an M1 or M2 chip MacBook, then you may need to also install the DisplayLink driver. One thing I do like about it, especially when setting up with Windows, is literally plug and play. If you wanted to update the firmware and driver and installation files and things like that, it actually comes on a USB in the side the box already pre-installed that you can connect and update this when you connect it via USB-C. So there's plenty of options that you can use with pretty much any laptop, but for those laptops that have that single USB-C Thunderbolt ports, you're going to need something like this and I'm super happy with this purchase. Any questions, as always, drop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you at the next one. Take care.